So I had an email the other day. One of the eagle-eyed viewers out there said, Hey, Kevin, what's up with the holes in the table? Is that some kind of clamp system to clamp something down with? And I thought, you know, that's a really good idea. I'm going to have to look in and put like a nut or something in there so I could get some of those middle of the table clamps. You know, that would be, that'd be really cool. But no, this has got a much weirder explanation. So this studio has actually been a functioning automotive garage since 1947 when it was first built. Now that's the front building. Now the building where my studio is, we're not exactly sure when that was built, but we do know that this was on the lift that's in the garage. You know, it was for picking up the cars from the middle of the car. You would drive your car up over the top of this, and then these four arms would swing out, and you'd swing up these little pads to go up underneath the car, pick the car up. Well, that's good if you're working on like the engine or the rear end, you know, if you're gonna take the wheels off and do a brake job or something like that on it. But if you wanna get to the transmission, and then this was right in the middle. So they switched over and they stopped using this lift and they went to the above ground two post lift. It's got the arms on it. So this is what I'm talking about, a two post above ground lift with the arms. So you drive your car up inside here and then these would just swing out and extend out and that's how you pick up the car. All right. But that doesn't explain the holes in the table. So that plate that's on my table, that's a four foot by eight foot by one inch thick plate that I got to go right here. This is where the lift is. Great big chrome cylinder. You've probably seen them in the gas stations. You know, sunk, oh, I don't know, like seven or eight feet down in the ground. And I put that plate over here when I took that mechanism off and put it outside. So then I had a table that would go all the way from the ground all the way up to about six feet. It's kind of fun, you get to play like a magic carpet ride with it. So this is where I had that four foot by eight foot, one inch plate to begin with was over here. And then I came across this five foot by 10 foot by inch and a quarter thick plate. And I figured, wait a minute, now I can have a bigger table. I can have a wider, longer, flatter table. You know, it's an extra quarter inch thick, so it's never gonna warp. You know, I, I can just put my work right up here when I'm laying something out. I can literally just weld it right to the table. Everything's gonna stay straight. You know, I can square it, I can use magnets, I can use, you know, a, a framing square, a T-square, whatever. Weld it right to the table. Finish all of my construction here do all of my welding, put my skin on, do all that welding, get it all ground off, you know, ground down smooth, and then come in and cut the welds loose. Flip the whole thing over, weld it right back to the table again. Do the welding on the other side, put my skin on, do whatever I want to do there. Weld all that, grind all that, it's all done, cut it loose. I got just a few, a few little, you know, tack welds to worry about grinding them off, and, you know, fixing up the little boo-boos or whatever. And it comes out flat, straight, square, just the way it should. So this works out great, really, because now I can have something where I can start building it up here. I can have whatever height I want. So I don't have to work stooped over. I don't have to get down on one knee or something. I can just pick the whole darn thing up to work on the bottom of it. Or on the really tall sculptures, like, uh, wherever you go, that big 10-foot diameter torus that I made in here, well, I had it sitting on the floor, had the welder up on the table, and the voice was kind enough to run me up and the welder so I could get up here to work on it up here. As long as she hung around, you know, come lunchtime to let me back down again. <laughs> you know, but, you know, right now, you know, this is, uh, uh, this is 12 feet, uh, 12 and a half feet, I think it is, up here. So, you know, I can work on a much bigger sculpture this way. I don't have to get on a ladder. And this table, this post, you know, the later models, they came with a guide rod that would anchor the cylinder in one orientation. So this, you know, this model, the way this is set up, this table can rotate 360 degrees. 
So I can just turn this 90 degrees so it's a long way this way. I've got a nice big work area there on the floor. I've got a nice big work area on the floor behind me and an adjustable scaffolding, if you will, to get whatever height I want to be able to work on it. Down, please. So there you have it. That's how the, those round holes wound up in my welding table. That plate was originally over here. And just because I know somebody's going to ask, a four foot by eight foot by one inch thick piece of steel, about 700 pounds. The five foot by 10 foot by inch and a quarter, 2250. A ton and a quarter worth of weight right there. So hope that answers your question. And I'm going to get my butt back to work. We'll see you next time. And get great cleavage shots from up here.